The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord. <laughs> hey, welcome to my channel. If you want to know more about God's love for you and you need an affirmation of that, well, this is the right place for you. So keep on watching. So let's pray. I'm going to close my eyes. I would invite you to also close your eyes so you're not distracted. Ah, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you because here we are today. We are alive. We are in you. We are blessed to have this opportunity to just spend a few minutes in your presence because we know just a few minutes in your presence is enough for us to go out into the world and bring about the aroma of your mercy, the aroma of your blessing, the aroma of your peace, which this world desperately needs. So we ask today, Lord, that everything that you have for us, that we receive it with gratitude, with patience, and we will go out into the world and teach the world how to show forth and to be the fruit that you want us to be so the word can taste and see that you are good in jesus name we pray amen that was a longer prayer than i intended for it to be but that's okay as the holy spirit directs okay so if you did not watch the last video go right ahead and watch it and the reason why i'm telling you this is because it's a continuation of john chapter 15. today we're dwelling on john 15 verse 2. so you need to go watch john 15 verse 1. it will just help you to connect so because i will continue to refer to it and it'd be nice if you know what we're talking about okay so john chapter 15 verse 2 like always i already have my bible open and i'm ready john 15 verse 2 says he cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit who intense <laughs> while every brand that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful homework who is he let's say no no homework pop quiz who is he he cuts off every branch in me who is me who is he you got it you were listening last week he is god the father me is jesus christ the one talking here all right, so I read that first part again and we'll talk about it. It's very important that we dwell on this and it's very important that we have peace as we listen to this part. So I'm going to read just the first part again. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. Wait, I'm a branch. Does that mean he's going to cut me off? No. When God said he's going to cut off every branch that does not bear fruit, he's not saying, and I some of you might be thinking is losing your salvation no now listen carefully god gave us many promises in the bible about how precious and how loved and how much he is going to hold on to us one verse tells us nothing can pluck me out of pluck them out of my hands i'll say it again the Bible, Jesus Christ himself said, nothing can pluck you, dear listener and watcher, nothing can pluck you out of my hand, as in Christ's hand. And that one says, when a righteous man falls, even the seventh time, the Lord will raise him up. Okay? Listen for another one. Nothing can separate you from the love of Christ. Nothing. So, take a deep breath and note this, nothing will separate you from the love of Christ. He is not talking about your salvation being lost. So just clear your mind on that, okay? All right, so what does he mean when he said, he cuts up every branch in me that bears no fruit? Good question. To be able to answer that, we're actually going to finish the rest of it. While every brand that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. So remember last week we said we are branches. I mean, I didn't say it. You didn't say it. The Bible said it. <laughs> Clearly said in verse 1, you are the branches. Okay, so that's me. That's me and you. We're the branches, right? And he said, every brand that bears fruit, 
he prunes so that he will bear even more fruit. Now, when you think of the word bear, what do you think? Are you thinking giving birth? Or are you thinking of carry? Because what he's talking about here is carry, right? If I see an apple tree, I don't say, oh, look at those apple branches. And yet, it's the branches that's carrying the fruit, right? So, here is God the Father, the gardener, working on the vine to Jesus Christ. And there we are, the branches bearing, not giving birth, no, 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 not producing, no, 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 but carrying, right, like a branch. The fruit is hanging from the branch. That's us, right? When we bear the fruit, it delights the mind of Christ. It delights the mind of God, right? And then there's some parts of us that needs to be pruned, which means to be clean. Now, it takes a little bit of cutting, like a little, a little, a little chiseling, right? God needs to chisel us a little bit so we can bear more fruit, right? Because the goal is for us to be fruitful, to be full of fruit. Not a fruit that we bear ourselves, but that we bear for God. So here's the thing, there are many times that where we are, where God has placed us, we're not bearing any fruit, like zero fruit. Like we're part of the vine, but there is no result. The world cannot see it. They can say, oh, there's an apple tree, or oh, that is a child with a heart for Christ. So what happens? God needs to cut things, cut us away. Ooh. I can already feel the pain. <laughs> Life circumstances sometimes are like, oh, that hurts. You're being cut off, but not to the point that you lose your salvation. You'll be grafted back into the body of Christ in a place that you can be fruitful. Now, if you're already fruitful, God is like, all right, I still need to prune you. I still need to clean some part of you, which you're like, ouch, that, that kind of hurts a little bit. You know, like, wait, I thought, I thought I was perfect. Are you saying I need to grow a little bit more? You're growing. Just because God is challenging you to grow more does not mean that you're not bearing fruit. So think about that as we continue in this chapter, okay? God loves you. And God has chosen you to be grafted into him. You're part of him now. And you're a branch. And from him, you is hanging out fruit god fruit not your effort fruit it's god that's hanging that's shown in your life but you have a role to play you're a branch and you have a role to play okay so the duty of a branch is not to actually produce the fruit it is to carry and display the fruit that's what we do we display god so when we look at us are they seeing abundance or rottenness okay so we have a role to play and when we're fruitful remember god loves you so much and he's so excited about it because the world that we live in is broken right the world that we live in has so much desire they're seeking for something i don't know what it is it's you darling it's me we are the branches we have a role to play and the lord prunes us that we might show even more so we're gonna all 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 branch on deck if i may all branches on deck all come together and show forth god's goodness there's so much that we're going to talk more about this but like I said, we're going to do one verse at a time because my goal is not to rush through this. My goal is not to give you 10 steps to be the best Christian that you can be. No, my goal and my role as your host is to help you to be more like who God wants you to be. And we just have to take it slowly because this life that we're running, this race that we're running, it's important that we do it the way that God wants. And it's it's important important oh my goodness it's important that we understand what God is trying to tell us so 
we're done for today's lesson today's message sorry i'm a teacher you are <laughs> So, words like lesson and homework just come so easy to me. And speaking of homework, here's what I need you to do. Before, like right after this video, I want you to go to the comment section and I want to write one thing, one way that you feel the Lord has either pruned you or felt the cut from the Lord. Remember, it's a safe space. It's an area where we're all learning, where we're all growing. I'm going to be the first to write my comment. And then you can either reply to mine, agree, disagree, question, anything. I am here for you. Or you can write your own comment. Because we're here to grow together. We're a community. All right. But I hope you enjoyed this message. If so, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and i'll see you back next friday next thursday sorry love you bye